Give me a guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Renee Lesleke, also go by the name Rainy, whichever one you can pronounce and spell. <laughs> it's fine by me. Um, I say spell because, wow, you guys are very creative with spelling Rainy. It's R-E-N-I, simple. No E at the end, no double N, but anyways, it's not about spelling my name. This is about me rating 10 of my DIYs out of 10. that this video will be good for those that are new subscribers and they haven't had a chance to go through all my other videos maybe you can see something that i've diy that you would like to find out how i diy it and you can just like go to those videos i will link them down below i won't link all of them up here because it's going to be a mess so let us get into the first diy the geometric wall that is behind me will be the first one to be rated so why do i rate this wall hmm I rated um, an 8 out of 10. I love the wall, I love the color, I love the patterns on it. Why minus the 2? Um, I didn't smooth out the walls very well um, at the bottom. Like I said in the DIY at the end, I didn't take my time to fill out the cracks and sand it down perfectly. So there's that bit of texture that you see and it's an imperfection that's just there. I wish I can. I could have taken more time on that but I can't change it now so I guess that's why I'm giving it an 8 out of 10 because of that oh and also the fact that I did not prime my wood that I glued on the wall with wood primer so you can still see the grain however I don't I hardly notice it now actually you don't see it from far you see it up close so it doesn't bother me as much anymore but I feel like I'm not a perfectionist, but I feel like if you're gonna do something, try your best to do it right. So hence why I'm giving it an 8 out of 10. I'm just drinking black coffee. I love my coffee black because I don't like warm beverages that I can't consume cold. Because I don't like warm beverages, so I drink all my warm beverages warm to cold. Comment down below if you can relate. So, oh, and I'm drinking it in this beautiful mug that I got from Pep Home. Yes, I had this mug on my um, dinnerware shopping haul that was on my channel that i posted on my channel i will link it up here and down below in case you missed it so that's what that that's what's in my mug okay coming to the second thing that i've diy'd on my channel it will be coasters i say coasters in plural because i have diy'd i think three coasters in total on my channel oh and actually this one was diy'd on my channel as well and what do i rate my coasters that i've diy'd on my channel i rate them a four out of ten why because first of all this is the last man standing out of those coasters out of these peg coasters we created these coasters out of pegs and why is that that is because um i use gorilla hot glue but however they break in half or whatever i feel like i could have used wood glue and used the hot glue just to make everything stick together while the wood glue dried then they would be more durable and they would last longer and then the other coasters i created out of air drying clay they are the reason why, oh they're the reason why it's a four out of ten and they, it just lost the whole six okay, actually with the pegs they lost two points and then the coast the the air drying coasters made made my coasters lose more points because um i feel like i should have put pressure on them while they were drying so that they dry straight as they dry, they started drying wobbly and everything. And I gifted those coasters to my family members. They were kind enough to be like, oh, thank you. But in actual reality, if you put your glass on those coasters, they, your glass sits like that. Like, it's not straight. It's Wow. I, I'm, I, I would definitely, I'm definitely refraining from using air drying clay for coaster DIYs until maybe I can get a heck for it. I do think putting pressure on it would help it dry straight. But however, I don't know. I'm gonna find other methods of DIYing coasters on my channel and let you know how it goes. And the next DIY that I'm gonna rate is the Raffia mirror that was inspired by Mr. Price's Mr. Price Holmes Raffia mirror. Um, I rate this one. Um, I rated a 7 out of 10. Why do I rate it a 7 out of 10? Um, I love the mirror. I still love it. But however, the mirror, I feel like 
with the rough here could have went longer so that the mirror can be the statement piece on my wall right now i feel like the mirror is just too small yeah i feel like the mirror is just too small so i i would definitely go longer with the rough here and i'm mad at myself that i didn't go longer with the rough here because this mirror like oof, it took everything in me you know when you get so tired to a point where this bone over here like this bone it hurts you so can i go back and fix it sure it's something that i can go back and fix just like the the peg coasters it's something i can go back and fix and rectify but however i'm gonna rate it a seven out of ten for that are there any fallouts in the raffia no there are no fallouts in the raffia everything is fine i don't have to sweep the raffia or anything like that so it, it's good it's fine it's just i wish i could have went longer coming into the fourth diy that i'd like to rate it's the vases that i've upcycled on my channel so i've upcycled i think a total of four vases on my channel three were from pep home out of the three that were from pep home i only loved the one that i put the stone effect on and i love the shape and i love the grooves on the vase i really do i i use that vase for my dried roses actually comment down below if you guys would like me to show you guys a tutorial on how to dry your roses um if you guys are interested because i i do put them up a lot like my dried roses in my videos they're actually also here yeah, on my entryway like here are the dried roses if you guys would like to see how i dry my roses let me know down below let me know oh and also the fact that i have this this is actually real like it's real palm leaf that i got from my parents home <laughs> i didn't upload that video but let me know if you it's a video worth uploading on my channel anyways i am struggling with the numbness on my bottom lip <laughs> those who know know <laughs> why anyways yeah so oh those are all actually other things that i've upcycled uh bottles and everything so this one i've upcycled so it is more than just those four vases i do love okay i'm gonna re-rate this because i'm gonna rate vases eight out of ten because <laughs> i remember that there's some bottles that i recycle like whiskey bottle and the the olive oil bottle and um the the the, the like the dishware thing that i got from my mom's house and i upcycled that and that vase from pep home so i loved those ones the only ones that i didn't love were the the other two from pep home that i upcycled and i actually threw those away because i put in flowers and they went bad and i couldn't get the smell out of the vases and it smelled awful so i ended up resorting to throwing them away so i didn't like those ones but anyways um, I'm rating the vases on my channel 8 out of 10 because I actually do love the other upcycles that I've had on my channel. It's just those two vases were a no-no. Moving on to the fifth DIY on my channel. It'll be my headboard in my <laughs> room. Loom. <laughs> really rainy. Loom. Hmm. That's nice. But anyways, um, I will link that video, um, that playlist actually of my bedroom makeover. What do I rate that headboard? I rate that headboard a 7 out of 10. I love the, the color of the leather. But one th like the reason why I minus the three points is because, first of all, I mixed my own wood stain. Yes, it was better than the other options that I had. But now that I found the perfect stain, which is this one, I wish I would have found it sooner so that I would have stained it like that. So that's why it's minus three points. And also the fact that remember I got distracted at the end when I had to weave the leather and the weaving the weaving was not very good at the end. And now I'm, it doesn't bother me, but at first it used to bother me because I used I, I just stare at the poor like weaving like where I skipped a weave or whatever because that's just an eyesore. So yeah that's why it's a downside for me the sixth thing that i've diy'd on my channel the upholstered chairs so i'm gonna rate this a six out of ten why six out of ten <laughs> honestly they keeping the six because those who are long like they like if you've been on my channel from the beginning 
the like the opposite chairs were one of my first few videos so these chairs are dear to my heart they belong my late granddad bought these chairs and my grandmother actually let me have them so they hold a special place in my heart <sighs> however how i posted them remember at the end to close <laughs> i used wool so my brother if you guys don't know my brother is an aircraft mechanic so he comes home with all in overalls and they have oil and everything and he sat on one of the chairs stained the chair and i decided to take apart the wool and wash it which is why i used the wool at the end so that i can be able to wash you know uh the cover of the chairs however i wanted but however putting it back together I cut off the wool like when I was taking it apart so I had to like use the wool all over again and I was lazy and so since then the chairs have been sitting not closed at the back I know and then another thing another reason why it's minus four points is the fact that um, when I was staining the wood I think I went heavy with the stain and maybe I didn't give it enough time to dry I don't know why but the stain is chipping off and somehow it chipping off makes me want to remove the entire stain and I think I want these chairs with a lighter wood stain than the dark one but a part of me is dreading doing that because this was a whole entire process that was very intense so I don't know but then again I think I'm gonna be reupholstering these chairs all over again on my channel so stay tuned you never know you never know to the seventh diy uh that will, will be the play the, the planner the month planner that i diy'd why do i rate the planner i rated um i rated an eight and a half out of ten why minus one and a half i skipped one week my planner has four weeks majority of the months that we're in have like five weeks in them and sometimes just like five full weeks as in the week that you like the other month ends midweek so obviously in the next month it starts midweek and then it ends midweek so i don't have the luxury of the midweeks being accommodated because i only have four weeks on mine so if you had to to, to diy yours at five the reason why i rated it high i love the color palettes that i went with which if you guys didn't know were part of like paint testers that i took from i think it was builders warehouse <laughs> to create these planners and it was inspired by alexandra gator's um channel to diy these and then uh another thing the reason why i rated it so high is because it's the one thing that i really find functional and i use it every single month like i i keep track of my days and my month like of the month with that thing and i never get like i'm never confused about where i should be and when i should be there like my plans going to work when like those who don't know i work in shifts so i keep track of when i'm supposed to be at work what time i'm supposed to be at work and when i'm not at work when am i on standby when am i on an official off day and all that kind of stuff so it is very functional i use this every single month without fail and honestly i feel like I, I i wish i had two of those because sometimes when i get a new roster published for the following month i just want to have the next month already up there on the wall so that i can visual visually see my plans every single day the eighth thing that i'd like to rate on my channel it's the floating shelves in my bedroom why do i rate this i rate those floating shelves uh seven out of three just for the aesthetics i love how those shelves look the stain yes it could have been like the the wash that i created in my in my uh entryway but i still love the leather i still love the idea and the concept Minus three points because actually it got seven points because of the aesthetics. Is it functional for me? No, it's not. Some people can utilize their floating shelves, but for me, I feel like it's just for aesthetics. As soon as I take down shoes or I take down shoes from the shelf, they never go up there. My shoes never go back up there. If I use a handbag that I put on that shelf, <laughs> the handbag never goes back up there. It never does instead now it's just holding my whiteboard markers for my planner that i just mentioned so 
it's not functional for me but it's just aesthetically pleasing it looks beautiful i guess so <laughs> actually i think i should just read it as six out of ten correction six out of ten for the aesthetics minus four points because it's not functional and it doesn't fit my lifestyle if you like displaying your stuff like if you're you're a perfume person or cologne person those shells will be great for you because you can just display your stuff oh you love jewelry you can just display your jewelry over there but for me, I try the displaying life, but if I'm using whatever, like I'm displaying to leave the house with it, it's not functional for me. It doesn't work. However, the decorative items are still up there. So yeah, uh, six out of 10. Okay, coming to the ninth thing that I'd like to rate on my channel will be the bedroom mirror. So you guys remember the huge mirror that I DIY that was very much affordable and big that mirror moved to the living room and well i'm gonna rate that mirror uh hmm. no can't give it a five i'll give it a six and a half because remember at some point in time i started off with like the, the command strips and that was nonsense and then i ended up with the contact adhesive that was great but however the frame was attached with the gorilla glue stick like hot glue yeah it was fine it was holding together but me moving it to the living room and then moving it from one side like i move my furniture around all the time so that mirror didn't like being moved around ten thousand times in a month so the frame the one side fell apart it couldn't take the abuse so it's like no so i would actually if i were to fix that mistake i would fix it with um the adhesive like what i glued the wood to my walls with i would use that no nail glue to actually put my frame together so i would use that and i would also use no not wood glue They're definitely the no nail but however, I have another concept and idea that I want for this mirror. So I kind of like the fact that it's falling apart because then I can revamp it into something else. So stay tuned on my channel because I am definitely going to do something about the DIYs that are not ranking very well. Some of them, not all of them. So yeah, that mirror is going to make a return on my channel and it's going to look different. And I have a different concept, different idea for it. And I'm excited. <sighs> Just need to get the finances for it. The last but not least DIY item on my channel. I did not forget this one, guys. I know that you, some of you were waiting for me to bring it up. And some of you probably thought I was not going to bring it up. The DIY bar cart. What do I rate that? I rate it 9.5 out of 10. <laughs> and it's not because we love alcohol. Mm -mm -mm. It's not because of that. Actually, that that bar cart carries majority of empty bottles that lead on to to you guys thinking it's alcohol on alcohol. Whereas in actual reality, there's probably two bottles that have actual alcohol in them. So um, I rated a nine and a half out of ten because <laughs> my family is obsessed with that bar cart, and people don't believe I actually DIY'd that bar cart. They 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 are stunned and shocked that I DIY'd it, and when I tell them it was out of pellets, they are mind blown. So nine and a half out of ten. Where did the half go? Why not ten out of ten? The half went at the fact that um, I was not really crazy about the stain and the whitewash finish. Yeah, especially now that I found this paint wash finish. This paint wash is a problem. It's a problem because now my other DIYs, I think they're not the right kind because I want them in this color. <laughs> That's how crazy I am with this color. I'll link the video to this, um, this floating shelf up here and down below so you understand why I'm obsessed with this paint wash. I, I basically found the stain for my household with it. So that's why, and another reason why it's minus half is because Rennie saw something that she liked on Pinterest and she would like to DIY a new bar cut for herself. So basically that's also something else that you're going to see on my channel because um, I'm going to be giving, I don't know if she's going to buy it. Maybe I should try and sell it to her. That way I can get like money for 
me DIYing my next bar cart. But my uh, my sister Lerato, she also has a YouTube channel. I will link it down below. Go subscribe, say hi, tell her that you're coming from my channel. But anyways, um, I will be gift gifting or giving it to her or selling it to her. I don't know which one it's gonna be. I hope I sell it to her so that I can get like money for <laughs> my next bar cut. But anyways, that is the last DIY that I'm rating on my channel. Ending it off with a nine and a half out of ten for my bar cut. But I have another bar cut coming up on my channel. I'm not an alcoholic. I just love the idea of me woodworking or attempting to woodwork. We are not perfectionists. We're not professionals. We're just trying to figure out things. And you guys get to tag along with me while I figure out the majority of these DIYs. I'm not perfect at them. I will make my mistakes. I will mess up at some areas. And that's the whole point of my channel. Basically me trying things for the first time and you guys taking along with me and experiencing my first times with me so it becomes our first times i guess <laughs> so and my like me experiencing something also helps you if you want to try it for yourself so because i do tell you what doesn't work and what actually ends up working for me so you don't make the mistakes that i make so i really hope that you guys enjoyed me rating my 10 diys out of 10 and comment down below if you enjoy this and i should do it not often but like you know sporadically when i diy more stuff if you'd like me to go back in time and rate those diys after they like i've diy it for months obviously to see if they're durable if i still like them if i don't like them if i threw them out like the vases <laughs> so let me know how you feel by commenting down below give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video oh and uh don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and don't forget to check out those other DIYs if you're interested in them. I will link them down below and I hope you guys enjoy your day further and like I always say, be kind, love and light. Bye!